Oh, let me say goodbye to Matt. Matt. Okay, second. So need to turn machine off. Yeah, I can't hear ya. Oh, hello. Hello. No, lovely to see you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You too. You take care. Drive care, please. Cheerio. I won't. Watch out for them dodgy women. Oh, here we go. Mm. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, Bye, Matt. Bye. Love you. Oh, that's all. He didn't say love you back. <laughs> so upset. <laughs> you hold it onto that bloody handle, you marigold. Oh, no. It's because you wouldn't let me hold on to your knee. <laughs> Can I play with your gear knob? As long as it's the right knob you're playing with. Oh, I'll make sure it's the right knob. How many gears can you get out of yours? <laughs> Just drive neutral and reverse, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, we'll get more out of it than that. <laughs> get you up to fifth gear easy. I'm so gentle with gear knobs. You don't want to force it in, you know. Has to slide in nice and evenly. Lovely countryside. Yeah. Very nice. Hi, George. George? Yeah, the bloke who owns the house there. Oh, right. Well, I think he's called George. Always call him George. That's Check. Bert. Okay. He's got a lovely wife, Cecilia. Okay. Andrew just back there. I've had a romp in his barn many a time. <laughs> what with Andrew? I'm not saying. Never kiss and tell. <laughs> Is this where I need to drop the car later on? Yeah, that's where you got to go back. All right. Ask for John. Right. If John's not there, get Clive. Okay. Did you, did you get them both, did you? Like I say, not going to kiss and tell. Oh, Eric the over there. Oh, Hi, guys. Sorry. See you later. Oh, there, Paul. It's lovely. <laughs> I think this is it. Yep. It looks like it. So it's going behind it today. Yeah. Right, if I park here. Hang on. Park it properly. Okay. You've done that, people. Could have left me enough room to get out. <laughs> I'm stood on this car. <laughs> Pretty good amount of space. Right. Oh, not for what I've got. Well, hopefully they don't hurt you too they much. They don't what? <laughs> hopefully they do. <laughs> oh, I love your moustache. Can I take it with me? <laughs> That's really fucking <laughs> creepy. Oh, can I kiss you? Yeah, go on then. Mm -hmm. Now bend over and I'll kiss the other cheek. Uh, That's fine. Go on, okay. off you go. Don't leave Ray waiting. Oh, bye see bye. Bye. Hi, Ray. About bloody time you've got it. Oh, I'm sorry. I got here as quick as I could. Not bloody quick enough. They've had clamps on me nuts. Oh. Yeah, you can say, oh, you ought to try it. Oh, that's what I'm hoping. Right, well, I'm buggering off. You can deal with these blokes. Oh, I love strong oh, men. Oh, take me, guys. Take last me. Last time I fucking go to a pub to pick some Hello. bastard up. Hello. Oh, don't ask. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
I need a drink. No, I don't. That's what got me into this fucking shit in the first place. Just get me back, please. What? Just get me back. Alright, okay. Um, yeah, after the day I've had, I need a lay down. I am not, I swear I'm not going to drink ever again. Josh, are you drinking now? I'm sorry. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. I think you all sorry, swear I, I off drinking. Had, I had a little drink because when Buffers went, it was a bit upsetting. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not drinking again. Last time I go in a bloody pub. What happened? So, so I you, went you, to the train station. Well, firstly, it should have been the airport according to Buffers. Well, he told me train station. Oh, well, fucking hell. That wasn't me. Well, well, anyway, I went to the train station. I'm stood there for the best part of an hour waiting for them. Three trains come through, no sign of them. So I thought, right, I'll go to the bar next door, oh, have a drink. I need to drop this car back. Okay. I need to find this John, apparently. He had some time with. Oh, God. John? No one here. I'll just return it. Leave a note in it. All right. Um, are we going to walk back from here? Yeah. Fine. Right. Where's your car, Ray? Bloody hell, you walk fast, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> That's how desperate I want to get back. So, yeah, you, yep. went, you wait around for an hour at the station. Yep. So I went next door to the pub to have a drink. <laughs> Trying to get a hold of buffers while I'm having a drink. Next thing I know, I wake up. I'm in this basement that had been turned into a dungeon. Chained to the wall. Stark naked. I mean, stark naked. Chained to the wall. And I've got crocodile clamps. Yeah. Right. Attached <laughs> to my nether regions. And, yeah, they told me they weren't going to let me go unless you paid a ransom. And I know how tight-fisted Matt is. Nah. I knew he'd never pay any money for me. So, this is a bad rumour. <laughs> but I thought, I'm stuck here for the duration. And then next thing I know, I'm chatting to Buffers. And he's talking to my kidnappers, and I got told, right, you've got 15 minutes, and you're free. Um, mm. Yeah, I had a sack over my head. They took the sack off. I'm at the back of the bowling alley, and there's buffers. That's so... Because they only fight grand for you. And you wouldn't pay it? Well, I was up for paying it. These two, Buffers and um, Ray weren't. Ray? Uh, I, um, sorry, I, um, I, was all, I was all for you paying sorry, it. Buffers and Matt weren't. Yeah. I was all for you paying Matt it. Matt said we could use it for seeds. Mm, I must agree with that, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. just hope, well, Buffers will have a whale of a time. I'm sure he will. Yeah, he loves being chained. So, yeah. Right. I need to get back on collecting. I'm going to lay down. Okay. Okay. I'm laying down. Oh. It's been a hard day. Fuck. Oh. Which way are you going? <laughs> Sorry. I have never experienced anything like that in my life. That was a hard time. I don't know what they were thinking they were going to get out of me. Yeah, it's weird. Why do I pick you? You're not like some celebrity or something. Politician or anything. Well, I don't know what Buppers has been saying about me around the town. The well, apparently he's, he's, he's been spending time at the fire station. Hmm. Getting on really well, mm. apparently. 
Well, a couple of them did have to go off very quickly. There was a phone call and they had to disappear very quickly. Okay. So, hmm, wonder if they were firemen. Was there any poles where you were? No, a few checks. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see any poles. There was definitely a few checks, though. <laughs> Might have been a Russian. What, um, Lithuanian? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They were talking in a funny language, so... Alright. I mean, it could have just been Welsh or something. Well, any language that ain't English is a funny language. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You know what these bloody foreigners what, are you want, Josh? 76. Okay, fall out. Yep. Sun Sunset Strip. <laughs> no, 77 Sunset Strip. But yeah, it. Hmm. Really weird. So, did you have fun with buffers? <sighs> I'm sure it's fun's the word. <laughs> Did he get you dancing around in the buff? No, unfortunately. He tried to trap me in my bedroom. And let me go. That sounds like buffers. That definitely sounds like buffers. Although he's going away with his fucking CD collection, apparently Vintage. left in the house. 89. They're not in the house. Yeah, we sold them probably, didn't we, when we got those people in? No, they're at mine. Oh. Alright. I hid them. Oh, okay. After a month of him coming home from the bloody nightclubs, playing fucking Sade and Communards at four o'clock in the morning, full <laughs> blast, I fucking hid them. <laughs> Percentage. 97. 98. That'll do. 99. Change hands. Right, okay, oops, yep. There's only so many times you can hear bloody Sade, Culture Club, fucking communards and God knows what else. It says kidnappers again. I'm not going back. They're offering to pay us five thousand pounds if we go collect buffers. Nah. Uh, they can have him. Said he's tiring them out. <laughs> they can have him. Oh fuck. I'd wait. I'd hold out. Might get more. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, the longer we leave him there. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them we won't settle for less than a million. Yeah. And tell them if they don't pay up, I'll send his CD collection. I'd have thought you'd have got that field done by now. Well, got big strength, big buffers around, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you bloody started it when I was going off to get buffers. Yeah, well, fucking, he, he was here, wasn't he? Causing distractions, pissing around. Yeah, I mean, it took Josh away for about ten hours for he a kept, tour. Kept grabbing my knob while we were driving. Yeah, that sounds like buffers. He didn't have any lube on him, did he? You what? He didn't have lube on him as well. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> oh, unfortunately? Yeah. <laughs> His hands are ever so coarse. Really? I always... Well, I better not say. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought he had ha coarse hands. Yeah. 
anyway. Was he wearing his marigolds again? Yeah, pink ones. You know why he wears them? Why? Keep his hands soft. Oh, right, you're Vaseline in them, is he? Yeah. Fucking hell. You ready, Matt? Matt. Matt's gone. Yep. Matt's off with the fairies. <laughs> Kidnappers are come for him now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that fucking jet engine. Oh. Maybe it's on its way out. Where's it going? To Benidorm. <laughs> well, it is on its way out from underneath the worktop. <laughs> <laughs> it's walking across the kitchen, is it? Yeah, you have to keep pushing it back. The floor isn't level. Thing, these videos where there's a washing machine right. going and someone chucks in a fucking brick and it's just like <laughs> just, just tears itself apart. Um, Colin Furr's done that. Okay. Chucking a brick in a washing machine? Yeah. And it yeah. Just, the washing machine just tears itself apart pretty much. Really? Have you never seen that? No. Hang on. Um, well, that's not <coughs> as bad as my cooker the other night. The knob fell off. <laughs> okay. It's unfortunate what happens. <laughs> yeah, well, you ought to really much, be more some careful. Some like shit fell off, I pulled it off. <laughs> Breaking a wash machine on a trampoline? Fucking hell, I've seen this one before. Hang on. Oh, fucking adverts. I can hear the fucking noise of it from here. Fucking trampoline! Fucking <laughs> brilliant! And for viewers' interest, I'll put the link to it in the description. Yeah. This is where he chucks the brick in. Holy crap! <laughs> Jeez Louise. That's me. Oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to seed this field and yeah. The bloody workers next to useless. Keeps missing bits. Washing machine that would not die. 
Okay, I will watch that one as well later. It's um, Colin Furs. He's the guy that built the fucking 80, 80, 80 or whatever they are called in his back garden. What? The Star Wars. Yeah, the he built thing. one in his garden, like, what? Yeah. scale? Yeah. Or what? near enough. I, or the half S scale. Must be ST if it's the scale. The yeah, it's got to be the ST, because the 80, 80, 80, uh, like massive, 30 yeah. to 40 foot high. I wouldn't have thought they got planning permission. He's got... He's built a bunker in his garden. No, it wasn't 8080 he built. It was it was the scale, but it's still fucking massive. Yeah, half size maybe. Like, it goes over the fucking hedge. All the fucking neighbours can see it. <laughs> How big's his garden? I think it's bigger now, so I think he might have moved since he done that. What is he not fucking saving? Don't move again, thank you. It's probably, his garden's probably much the same size as Josh's garden. Uh, yeah, looking at it, about that, yeah. Yeah, get a bit close here, there's a tree. Hang on. You could go the other side, Josh. Yeah, I don't know why I went this side. Because you're not very intelligent? Because uh, your, your pipe was that side, I just want how he went to it without thinking. Bloody hell. That's probably about the size of an ATST, but like it's an 8080 scale to that size. Um, I wonder what his wife thinks. Yeah. Charles, <laughs> he's either got fucking a shit ton of licenses, or he. Oh my god, he's, he's doing like some sketchy to it and stuff. Everything. Jesus. What the hell did he make it out of? You can go up inside it and then there's like a cockpit inside, it's all lit up. Like it's like a kid's kind of game room almost, but Star Wars-y themed, up inside it. It's like a tree house, but like yeah. it's an AT AT. <laughs> That looks really good. I hate to think how much money he's worth. The amount of money he's spent on some of this stuff. I mean, he's building a, he's built a bunker in his garden, and he's built the tunnels from like the house to the bunker and stuff. And it's all lined with steel and concrete. Oh hell. Yeah. Not cheap. Really isn't. Planning on top of that. His net worth, according to online, when he's never accurate, is 3.8 million. But they're never uh, that accurate, they're always out a bit. His barracking's probably worth a few million. Yeah. Probably about two and a half, three. Dropped out of school at 16. Oh, fucking hell. I slowed down, not enough. Is that right? Dropped out at 16, become a plumber. Done well. Unless it was a plumber. Yeah, it's from that he then started doing the YouTube stuff, apparently. He's a bloody, quite a good welder. <laughs> Wait a minute, well, 
anyone probably can weld better than me. <laughs> I can't. My, my, my experience of welding is getting the rod stuck. <laughs> Sounds like buffers. <laughs> yeah. I, I can strike an arc, I just can't hold the arc. Oh, yeah, never. Or oh, I end up, um... Getting the rod stuck to the bit of metal and it just starts going red. Now blew up the welder. Okay. And that was my experience of welding. <laughs> James has got a welder. Yeah, I've got one. It don't work though. That was a shitty Chinese one. Didn't even. You can't even adjust the current on it. What about the raisins? Okay. No comment. So you say something? No. <laughs> I just asked if you could adjust the raisins on it. Still no answer. <laughs> so you keep cutting out, Ray. That's why I thought you keep saying. You're darlicking. Mm -hmm. You're starting to dalek again. When's, um, fucking Black Friday? Uh, American Thanksgiving, isn't that it? Day after Thanksgiving, yeah. And when's that? No, end of, uh, November something? Right. Yeah. 25th November okay. this year. Soon that comes along, I can get myself a new headset, and this headset is going to... Receive maybe five five six. I was thinking more like a pound of lead. Okay. <laughs> no, it's done you all right. It's only the when it does the Daleking thing, you can still hear. So you know it's still functioning as headphones. I suppose yeah. you just sound ha like Davros. Yeah. Maybe a D pound of lead, then run it over a few times. <laughs> Then some petrol. Oh no, it's the, my headphones. Fucking the, the levers coming off the top band. Yeah. Done that just yesterday. Other than that, yeah, they're fine. Only had a year and a half. They're rubbing on my head. <laughs> on my bald spot. <laughs> Getting friction burns. I took my headphones off and there was a bit of black stuff on my hands. I was like, what the fuck's that? And then I thought, oh, it's like fake leather. Level stuff. PVC. Yeah. It's a 300 pound spring air gun good enough to shoot rabbits. Of course it is. I've shot rabbits with a fucking one half the price of that. If your name's Elmer Fudd. <laughs> you're fucking AK. And even then you'll struggle. I thought you were talking about 300 pounds as in pounds per square inch. <laughs> Not as <laughs> in 300 pounds weight. 